What's up, everybody? TCM here, back with another video. And today, I wanted to talk about the most important thing that you can do if you are looking to get a job in cybersecurity. And honestly, I think this applies to all jobs ever. So if you are looking for a job beyond cybersecurity even, I really just want you to sit with me and take a few minutes of your time. And I swear, I think I have some advice for you that can really be life changing. Now, this isn't clickbait. This is real advice. This isn't a technical topic. I know this is a technical channel, but today I just want to sit down and be real with you. No sponsors, none of that. If you like the channel, as always, like, subscribe. You know the drill for that. But really, I've had the good fortune of being somebody that's been on the hiring side, meaning a manager and somebody that's been hired before. So I've been on both sides of the spectrum. I've been an applicant and a hirer. And I think that this advice is really solid. And this comes down to what I call good karma or good investments, being a part of a community. And it's a form of networking. Now, we've had videos on the channel before about networking, and we've talked about all the different ways that you can network. But for this, this is the power of community, and this is the power of just being a good person. And stick with me on this. I promise we've got stories here that are going to back all this up with evidence. Now, I'm going to start off when I first started in my career. I wanted to be an ethical hacker. That was where my passion was. And one day I stumbled upon a Slack channel. The Slack channel doesn't even exist anymore. It was a long time ago. And in this Slack channel were a bunch of like-minded people. They were all interested in cybersecurity. Not everybody was going into ethical hacking, but there were people interested in ethical hacking. There were people that were in a similar position to me. They were looking to get into the field. They were going for similar certifications, and I was able to find a group of people that I was able to communicate with and network with. And this is a form of networking. I was able to talk to people. Just because somebody is in the same position as you doesn't mean at some point in time that that person can't go on and be a manager and think about you later on, or you don't know what seeds you're going to plant and how they're going to blossom later on. And what I mean by that is in this community, these people, we networked with each other and we did this, yeah, in private messages sometimes, but a lot of times it was in public, meaning that we were asking questions, we were answering questions. And my mantra has always been that give back what you take. So if you're asking a question of a community, hey, I need help with this, make sure you go back and you answer a question for somebody that needs help. And don't ever feel like you're too dumb or you don't know enough to answer a question because I promise you, there is always somebody out there that wants to be where you're at. You may be just beginning and it may be a situation where you don't really know anything, but I bet you that you know a little bit more than somebody else does. They would be in a great situation to be where you're at and they would love to be where you're at. So always think about it that way, that there's always somebody that you can help out no matter how far along you are in your journey. So in my journey, I was always in the Slack channel. I was always helping people out. I was asking questions, but making sure to answer as many questions as I asked, if not more. And yeah, my cohort, we grew up together essentially. And there was some networking there and there were job opportunities that came from that. But guess what? There's other people in that Slack channel and they were watching. And a lot of the initial interviews that I got and the opportunities that I got and getting my foot in the door when I first started out was because of that Slack channel. There were people watching and you never know who's watching. You never know who might be a senior or a CISO or a CEO or anything along those lines that's watching in that community. Even if they're not communicating with you, people like to lurk. They really do. And that led to a lot of opportunities for me. There were people that said, hey, I see that you're being a helpful member of the community. I see what you're doing and you're contributing. And I would love to have you come interview for a job at our company, we have an opening. That was just one example of early on getting into community and the power of it. Moving forward, I started out doing Twitch streaming and that led to job offers as well. And you might think, well, yeah, you were a big Twitch streamer. You, you had hundreds of viewers at a time and that obviously is gonna lead to, to open doors. And yeah, that's true. But this job offer actually came when I was streaming to almost nobody. I had maybe 20 viewers at a time and you never know who's watching when you're on Twitch and you're out there and you're teaching. 
And one day I got an email to my account and it was a senior manager at a large insurance company. And he said, look, I love what you're doing for the community. I love people that I give back. And if you ever want a job, you ever want to interview, just contact me. Here's my number. So I ended up giving him a call, figuring out who he was, what the company was, all these things. And the job offer was massive. I think at the time I was working as a pen tester, I was making somewhere at like 105,000 and he came and offered me a job for $160,000. And that was huge to me. And all I was doing, I wasn't out there hunting for a job. I wasn't out there looking for anything. I was out there just being a positive member of the community. I was teaching, I was putting myself out there and I was giving back where I could. Hey, you could say I've made an entire business on it because I have. A lot of the sales that we get have come from the classes that we teach or they saw us on YouTube or they saw us on LinkedIn. And it's all about helping people and giving back. And you plant these seeds and you never know what these seeds are gonna grow into. Just not that long ago, there was somebody that I knew from years ago at work and we were able to reconnect recently. And he's like, hey, I've seen everything that you've done, really love it, and I would love to give business for you. I've got connections here. And again, this is just something that paid dividends by being a good person to this individual back when I was working with them. You never know who is going to turn out for you, and as long as you're being a good individual and good contributing member of the community, that pays its dividends. Now let's talk about the other side of this. We hire, yes, and we hire people a lot of times from our community. I wanna give a shout out to somebody that is a shining example of this. And that person is DeWalt. If you do not know DeWalt, then uh, you haven't been in our community, but DeWalt is somebody that is an employee of TCM Security. And where did he start with us? Well. DeWalt was just on our Discord channel and he was somebody that went through our coursework and he just started answering questions for people. Literally, that's what he was doing. He was online answering questions and it got to the point where I reached out to him and I was like, hey, you're doing a lot of support work for us and I'm very thankful for it, but do you wanna make money for doing what you're already doing now? Because you're an awesome contributor. And that led to DeWalt starting out as doing some 1099 work for us. And as we grew, he became a full-time employee with us. And it's awesome. He was somebody that was just going out there and making contributions. I didn't ask him. I didn't hire him to do that initially. He just went out there and did it. And a lot of our employees come from backgrounds like that. We've got an employee named Evan. I needed some assistance or some help with getting some code fixed on a, a website that we had. And Evan said, hey, you know, I'll help you out with that. And I wasn't like seeking that. I wasn't really like putting it out there, but he was like, hey, I know you're having this problem. Let me assist you. Now Evan's our, our lead developer. Um, same can be said with, with Joe who works for us and same can be said for our, our intern recently. I just had questions about, uh, about drones and Tony, our intern came and said, hey, here's some information I have about drones and what we can do for reconnaissance. And I've worked on physical pen tests before. And hey, guess what? That led to a relationship with me and that led to an internship, which has now led to a full-time position for him in a pen test field. And that's just to say that we're always watching. We're watching our community, just like a lot of people are, are watching communities. So again, these are examples for from some of us, but what I want you to do what can change your life and what could get you in the field. Look, listen, before I even say this, a lot of people have similar qualifications. You're competing with people that have degrees. Yeah, a lot of people have degrees. A majority of people have degrees that are applying anymore. You're competing with people that have certifications. You're competing with people that may have work experience. What are you going to do to stand out? Honestly, join a community. It doesn't have to be our community doesn't have to be a Discord community. It could be a LinkedIn group. It can be an in-person hacker group. It can be uh, anything. Just find a way to be a positive impact. You don't even have to join a community. Do a Twitch channel if you want to. Make YouTube videos. Write a blog. Do something that contributes positively back into the community 
and it will pay its dividends. If you're not doing this now, your peers are, and you're going to get left behind or you're going to be at a disadvantage to the people that are doing this. We take care of the people in our community, by the way, just an example, we can't hire everybody. But if you're ever in our discord community and you see somebody that has a green name because they're a contributor, we take care of those people. They get uh, all of our courses, access to all of our courses for life. They get access to certification exams, things like that, because we reward people that are just positive impacts. And we you don't know you just don't know who's watching you don't know what seeds you're going to plant are going to blossom later so do yourself a favor go out there and be a good person go out there and be a positive impact to the community the cybersecurity community in general is very very small people are always watching if you're out there being a negative person in this community and there's a lot of you there's a lot of you you're being a negative person in this community. It's very small, very tight community that will shine through as well. So be a positive light, be a positive impact, do good things and karma will come back to you. Your seeds will blossom. And you'll have so many more opportunities in your life. You don't have to be a big YouTuber. You don't have to be a big Twitch streamer. You don't have to be anything. Just answer a question here and there. Try to be that helpful individual. Remember when you first started and remember there's always somebody that wants to be where you're at right now. It doesn't matter where you're at in your career. There's always somebody that would prefer to be where you're at or would love to be where you're at. And remember that you can always help people out along the way on their journey, just as people are helping you out on their journey. Repay that back, give back what you take, and you will have so much success in your career, I promise you. This is the best advice I can give from having been on both sides of the spectrum. So that's it. That's my rant. That's this video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, share the knowledge, share the wealth. Uh, and yeah, until next time, my name is Heath Adams, aka The Cyber Mentor, and I do thank you for joining me. Peace out.